Grip socks are great, and now they're even better with Pure Grip Socks Pro. Better fit, moisture wicking, amazing comfort, and all the extra grip you need. Choose from 10 different colors for just $16.99 a pair at puregripsocks.com. How much will and how much should your football boots stretch? How much a football boot is going to stretch is something that a lot of people don't take into consideration when getting a brand new pair of football boots and every pair of boots is going to stretch. That is the broken in feel as a lot of people like to call it and that broken in shape is how that football boot is going to work for you for the majority of its life. And if you don't consider the stretching, what can often happen is you end up with the wrong size in the first place and or you end up with football boots that feel good from when they're brand new. But once you start wearing them in and they stretch a little bit, they end up feeling sloppier or at least not as good as they did from when they were in brand new condition. So with that in mind, here are some tips and some things you should know about how much a given football boot is going to stretch. Describing how a football boot is supposed to fit is incredibly difficult, and that's because there's a huge personal preference aspect to the fit of a pair of football boots. It's what feels comfortable on your feet that's important. My opinion or someone else's opinion doesn't really matter all that much, but I think what is a very common mistake in how people fit their football boots is they think they're supposed to fit like other types of shoes that they wear on a daily basis, like running shoes or really any given pair of casual shoes, and that could not be further from the truth. Regardless of personal preference, your football boots should fit tight to snug. And I guess that's something where there's a little bit of variation from person to person, but there should never be a sensation of extra space or extra volume inside of your football boots. They should fit and wrap your foot as closely as possible without being uncomfortable. And that really is the key word. The tricky part when it comes to how much a football boot is going to stretch is that when they're brand new, they haven't stretched yet. So when you're trying on a brand new pair of football boots, I think it's very important to use your own judgment. It's very important to stand up in the boots once they're fully tied because your feet are going to expand when the weight is on them. And you also have to consider what materials the boots are made out of. If they are really, really uncomfortable after just standing in them for 30 seconds, it's probably not the right product for you. But if they fit a little bit too snug, that's probably a good indication that this boot fits you well and after some break in time, it's gonna stretch just that little bit that you need to end up with the perfect fit once broken in. If you size up and go for a more relaxed fit, that's typically when you can end up with the football boots stretching too much once they're broken in. And instead of having boots that fit perfectly, you now have boots that feel a little bit too big simply because you got the wrong size to begin with and didn't consider that the boots are going to stretch. The material and design of a football boot is a huge factor in how much it's going to stretch. And as a general rule of thumb, leather is always going to stretch more than any kind of synthetic or knit material. Reason being is that leather is just a softer, more pliable, less structured material that tends to stretch more over time. As a general rule of thumb, when it comes to football boots, more leather equals more stretch. And if you have any kind of added structure element on a leather football boot, those are the areas that are typically going to stretch a little bit less, but you should feel those pretty immediately when you tie the laces tight. In the case of synthetic and knitted boots, they're all very different in terms of how their thickness is, as well as how pliable or structured the material is. But generally, you're going to have at least some amount of stretch from those football boots after some wear time, typically just enough to give you that kind of custom, slightly worn in feel. Materials will typically soften up after some wear time as well. But I guess over stretching is not so much a concern with synthetic boots as much as it is with leather ones. Speaking of overstretching, it's less likely to happen with a synthetic boot versus a leather boot, but if you know that a football boot is prone to stretching quite a bit, it's very, very important, like we talked about earlier in the video, that when you get them fit from brand new, they fit as snug as possible because you know they're going to stretch. If you leave that extra space and you know they're going to stretch, 
that's when you're gonna run into issues with the boots expanding so much that once they're broken in, they're just gonna feel too sloppy and not the way that you want them to fit. New football boots should fit tight to snug as long as they're not uncomfortable. If you follow that general rule, overstretching shouldn't be an issue for you. Now, stretching is a very general term when you're talking about football boots and it confuses a lot of people. The upper is what's going to stretch, the part that covers the top of your foot. The plastic sole plate underneath your foot is not going to stretch at all. And typically when you talk about a football boot stretching, it's going to be mostly in regards to width. It will expand and get a little bit wider as you wear the boots in, whether they're leather or synthetic. In the case of stretching lengthwise, this is something that is a lot less likely to happen, especially if you're talking about a synthetic boot, but depending on the design of the sole plate, if it has a really low lip, there is potential if the boots are snug enough to stretch a little bit in length, but we're talking maybe a millimeter, maybe two millimeters, depending on the football boot. Again, as a general rule of thumb, expect your football boots to stretch in width and not so much in length. Although, as your football boots get a little bit wider, that typically can help to relax your foot as it sat inside of the football boot and can in turn make the boot feel like it's increased in length ever so slightly, simply because they're not squeezing your feet as tightly anymore. Now, I'm not sure everyone has experienced this, but I don't think it's uncommon either, and that's something called overhang, which is where the upper has stretched in width to the point where the sides of the upper are kind of spilling over the edges of the sole plate, sometimes just a little bit, sometimes a lot, if you have really wide feet. Is this a bad thing? Well, yes and no. It's a bad thing if the upper has stretched so much and there's so much overhang that you can feel your foot stepping on the edge of the sole plate to the point where it's causing you discomfort. If this is the case, it's either basically two situations. Your boots are just wrong or have overstretched on you, or two, you just have extremely wide feet and this is gonna be an issue likely in any football boots that you wear. Not really a solution to that one. Where if you only have a small amount of overhang, that's something that I would say is borderline normal and not really anything to worry about. It's something that I personally have with quite a few football boots that I really enjoy wearing. And while I don't think it's ever ideal and because we're not getting custom fitted football boots like the pros, there's really not too much you can do about it. But as long as it's not causing you any kind of discomfort, it's not something that I would really worry about. Something I've been asked about a lot over the last couple of years is the concern of a pair of laceless football boots overstretching, or in other words, while they might fit great out of the box, after you wear them in and they start to stretch, are they just gonna get sloppier and sloppier over time? Because they're laceless football boots, there is no way to adjust them, meaning that if they do stretch, there's no way to make them fit tighter like they once did when they were new. And I think the answer to that question, based on what I've experienced with most laceless football boots out there, is that it's typically not that much of a concern. As I've talked about with laceless boots, basically since they became popular again back in 2016, is it's really important that they actually fit you well from brand new. And that's something that you really won't know until you get a specific laceless football boot on your feet specifically, because every single one is going to fit a little bit different. If you have the right fit, I would say in general, it's not that much of a concern, but if you're buying laceless football boots that don't really fit quite right, there's already extra space in there, from brand new, as you wear them in, yes, it's entirely possible that they're gonna stretch so much to the point where they're just not gonna feel secure on your feet. And there you have it, a crash course on how much your football boots should and could stretch. If you guys found this video helpful and informative, please don't forget to support it with a like. If you have any questions, as always, leave it down in the comment section. Guys, I also have a goal of hitting 750,000 subscribers on this channel by the end of the year. So for those of you that regularly watch the content but maybe aren't subbed, it would mean the world to me if you could hit that subscribe button along with a little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. If you guys are interested in following me on other social media platforms, all of that info can be found down in the description as well. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.